All right, day two, stage number two. We're currently in the car on the way to the race start. It's a little bit of a longer drive today. It's about an hour away. Similar format to today's race as yesterday is around 140 kilometers, but today's race is a little bit hillier. Uh, and apparently there's a bit of an uphill finish, so it should be quite interesting. The only difference today is it's quite a bit windier. I just think the wind will play a role in today's race. Do you think it'll have much more of an impact? You're gonna get blown away. <laughs> You're definitely not fatty. <laughs> <laughs> do this track there. Oh, he's gone for the overtake. I've done him! He's bloody he's done him. my pants down. So do you think the race is gonna break up a little bit more than it did yesterday? Oh, hopefully. It needs to be less twitchy. Yesterday yeah. there was a long headwind section, so it was, everyone was just there all the time. Yeah. If it blows up in the wind, the selection would be made and the racing would be on. uphill finish we've got a roundabout back there with 500 meters to go but we could before that you come into a small little village it's like left and right mate it's gonna be carnage so we just arrived at the race start finish uh, and we're on our bikes we jumped on the bikes we're gonna ride up to the, the, the top of the finish climb and check out the finish from about 500 meters to go there's a roundabout and then from that roundabout it starts climbing still climbing and it climbs all the way to the finish yeah, so there's quite a technical run in from about 1k to go. Uh, around, once you get around the roundabout at, at 500, it should, be, it should be pretty plain sailing. I think the winner today is gonna come from a very, very, very late sprint. That, that 500 meter climb, people are gonna get quite excited at the start. And yeah, I think, everyone should, I think most people are just gonna die off by the time they get to the top. Again, they're apologizing for um, street furniture in and around this village. Uh, so just be aware of that. So I'm on the way out, you see it on one of your tours, there's a road that's got a bit of water going across it. Day done, race done. Turns out 140 kilometers wasn't enough for Steve today, so he decided to jump back, jump behind the team car and get motor pace the 60 kilometer ride back home. So that was stage two, definitely a much hillier day than we all first thought it was going to be. Today's course was a little bit more inland from the coast, which meant it was a little bit more hillier. Every lap there was one particular climb, which is about a minute in length, uh, at about 10%, probably 8 to 10% average gradient. Quite a, quite a short, sharp kick that after four or five times really started to take the sting out of your legs. A break formed early on with both me and Jake in it. Unfortunately, it was more of a group of about 20 or 30 riders. Uh, the bunch behind wasn't happy with that, let, with that letting that go and the other teams that missed the break rode it back. Steve got himself into the next break, which was like the main break of the day. They were away for probably 60, 70 kilometers. Uh, unfortunately, again, that ended up coming back. And then finally, a group of around 20 riders went away with Ollie in it. However, there was multiple teams with multiple riders uh, and we only had one rider in that breakaway. So me and Steve, I mean, predominantly Steve, but I did, I did give a little bit of a hand uh, brought the brake back to a sort of sightable distance to around 30 seconds and then Will jumped across. That way we were better presented in the breakaway. We had two riders as opposed to just one. And then Ollie led the sprint into the final climb and unfortunately two or three riders came, came around him in the finish and he ended up picking up fourth. So here he is, the MVP of the day. What are you saying, mate? Big ride today. Not much, yeah. Um, yeah, it was all right. Didn't feel that great. Said to Cam and Joe, I felt pretty shitty if I was gonna get dropped. Started getting in some moves and... Um, when when did the final break form? Or oh, probably about 50k from the finish. Yeah. 
four or five k for the finish, and then um, I was just last man on the group, and I didn't feel good. And then I just thought, if it comes down to a bunch of kicks, see what I've got, and yeah. went with four hundred and fifty meters to go. What and what was it like riding in the break? Was there much many attacks? Was it pretty smooth? Was um, definitely not smooth. Yeah. It was uh, yeah pretty um, a lot of attacks going, but nothing went. The pace was always high, and uh, yeah, so rolled at home in fourth, but. It was a slog to the line. It was a. Do you reckon uh, third, third or fourth? I reckon third, but the Frenchies, uh, yeah, the the, uh, the officials and that gave me fourth. I reckon I was third. Yeah, so they wouldn't show us. They wouldn't show us the official photo finish. All they reckon you got third, but yeah, it's French race, French people. Either way, good day all around. Nice to finally get someone up there. We got a rest day tomorrow, and then we go again on Tuesday. See you then.